I'm meteorologist Mark Van Cuso, and on this day in weather history, March 25th, 1948, the first official and first successful tornado forecast in recorded history was issued at Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma City. Thunderstorms were not even in the forecast for the evening of the 20th. However, a tornado appeared from the southwest. The tornado missed the main base structures, but damage to the aircraft was heavy. It destroyed and tossed around planes and even threw a B-29 100 yards. The base commander, Major General Fred S. Borum, questioned the base weather operations and wanted to know why, if they could forecast rain, why not tornadoes? Meteorologist Major Ernest J. Fawbush and Captain Robert C. Miller investigated the surface and upper air weather data from this and past tornado outbreaks, hoping to be able to identify conditions which were favorable for tornadoes. By the 24th, they had compiled several possible tornado indicators and decided it would be difficult, but possible, to identify large tornado threat areas in the future. On the morning of the 25th, they noticed that the weather charts for the day were strikingly similar to those before the first tornado. They were initially reluctant to issue a warning, considering the chances of a tornado striking the same spot within five days was astronomical. Informing General Borum of the similarity, he wanted a yes or no answer. So in an afternoon meeting, they composed and issued the first official tornado forecast. A supercell forum west of Tinker, and then a tornado touched down on the base. However, because of the tornado forecast, no injuries were reported and damage totals could have been much higher. The tornado prediction was a rousing success. Due to the lives and costs saved, Fawbush and Miller continued their tornado forecasts. In the spring of 1949, they issued 18 tornado forecasts within a 100-square-mile area, and all 18 proved a success. I'm Mark Van Cuso.